Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you my new power supply which is Uvan's SPE6103. It's an SMPS based 60 volt 10 ampere digital power supply which can deliver up to 300 watts. You can easily configure it and use it in your electronics lab. I have purchased this from toolworld.in for 13,400 rupees or roughly 170 dollars. By the way, this is a two part video. In part one, I will show you all the features and how to use this power supply manually using its control given on the front panel. And in the part two, I will show you how to connect this power supply to a PC and control it using Uon's software or using serial commands. Now let me show you all the features in detail. When you buy this power supply, you will get power cord, USB cable for PC interface, a spare AC fuse and user manual. Let me show you what is there on the back side. As you can see, you have power input, on and off switch, socket for AC fuse and USB B-type connector for PC interface. And this is rear side fan for cooling. When you switch it on from the back side, it powers up like this. So on the front side, you have a large color TFT display, buttons to configure like voltage, current, over current protection over voltage protection, over current protection, display. So you can change the display to numerical mode where voltage and current is coming with larger font. And this is graph mode where voltage and current will be shown in a trend graph. This is memory button with the help of which you will be able to configure the power supply with your favorite setting very quickly. I will show you this in detail and this is your on and off button and uh, this is encoder switch with the help of which you will be able to change all the parameters like voltage current and uh, protection parameters like over voltage and over current and these are terminals this is negative terminal this is positive and this is for earth they have also provided a usb a type connector which can deliver 5 volt at 1 ampere so this is mainly for charging your mobile phone or powering uh, some of your instrument which is powered by USB so when you are connecting your phone or powering any instrument with the help of this USB this power supply is not going to measure how much current it is drawing so this USB is mainly for you know powering an external an external USB instrument or charging your phone on the display you can see various information like it is showing status of the power supply it is off when you make it on you will be able to see it will show on similarly here it will show whether it is in constant current mode or constant voltage mode this T represents for how long this power supply was on so in some situation this could be useful this is your power reading in watts so you will be able to see how much power this power supply is delivering this is the actual voltage on the terminal this is the actual current drawn from the power supply and these are the settings what is the set voltage what is the current we have set what is the voltage limit and current limit changing parameter is very easy in order to change voltage you can press this button you will be able to see that digit in the voltage is selected so with the help of rotatory switch you can change the value so it is changing one volt at a time you can press it again to change 10 volt at a time press it again 
10 millivolt at a time press it again 100 millivolt at a time similarly if you want to change current you can press i and similarly you can change the current reading right now it is not changing because current limit is 3.4 so it won't go above 3.3 it can go below 3.3 but it cannot go more than 3.3 so let's say we want to set it to 2.5 so i will reduce it and make it 2.5 similarly if you want to change the over current sorry over voltage protection so we can reduce it to let's say 35 volt i'll press it again make it zero press it again make it zero so this is 35 volt over current protection let us put it for 3 ampere right now i'll make it on so we should be able to see 33.46 on the display there is no current because there is no load connected on the terminal once we connect a load we will be able to see current drawn from that load one thing you can notice the set voltage is 33.46 but the output on the terminal is 33.22 let me show you with the help of my fluke uh, multimeter how much is the actual voltage So power supply is showing <clears throat> so power supply is showing 33.22 and my fluke multimeter fluke 179 fluke 179 is showing 33.26 which is quite close let us increase and see so my over voltage is set for 35 so it is not able to go beyond that so let us change this to maximum so that we can increase it to higher voltage so this is 50 volt on the terminal it is 49.75 and multimeter is showing 49.80 so it is so it is within you know couple of millivolts if i make it off so you are able to see you know in the graph voltage is becoming zero this is display mode so you press this display button and large numeric display will come i will make it on and we are able to see voltage in large font now let me connect a load and show you how it works with a load So this is a load uh, which I'll be using. If you have not uh, seen this, you can watch my video on DC electronic load to know more details about this load. So this is set for 5 volt 2 ampere. I will set the voltage to 5 volt and we will make the power supply on right now there is no load I will start the load and it is already consuming 1.89 ampere 
we can increase the voltage a little bit so you are seeing 5.01 voltage here and on load it is 4.69 because there is a voltage drop across this wire and you can see how much watt this power supply is delivering 9.44 watt so this is very useful feature and good thing about this power supply is it is able to show current in three decimal place which is very useful when you are debugging something so this DC load is of 60 watt so let us try to extract more power for that I need to increase the overcurrent protection and I will change the current let's say 5.5 and here also I will change the current so 5 volt 5.5 ampere I will start the load and now you can see it is consuming 5.28 ampere 26.5 watts let us try with different voltage twelve volt and twelve volt four ampere and I will set voltage to twelve volt although current is set for 5.5 ampere because this load is set for 4 ampere it will only consume 4 ampere so we will make it on make load on so you can see it is consuming 3.83 ampere and wattage is also 45.13 watts now let us see with load what is the voltage on the terminal with the help of loop multimeter 11.78 11.80 quite close I was talking about this memory function so if you press this button you will be able to see predefined four settings M1, M2, M3, M4 so you can select with the help of encoder switch which setting you want and it will be set accordingly so let's say right now it is set for M3 which is 12 volt 2 ampere if I press this if I press this it will set for 12 volt 2 ampere so why it is not setting because it is going into over protection mode which is set for 2.5 ampere and the setting was 2 ampere so I will reduce the current and this over, over this over current protection will go away you can see now over current protection is not coming this is 11.56 1.7 ampere let's say you want to select this you press this and now that setting is already configured 30 volt 2 ampere 62 volt is the over voltage limit and 3.4 ampere is the over current limit so it is quite handy 
whichever settings you use quite often you can configure it here and then uh, select and configure it quickly now let me show you some of the waveforms this is the waveform when power supply turns on and this is when we make power supply off you can see there are no significant glitches and these are the waveforms showing noise at the output this is without load and this is with load of 2 ampere you can see noise is little high goes up to 300 to 500 millivolt for sensitive circuits this power supply might not be the best or you may need to add uh, external filter in order to uh, remove the noise component so i hope uh, you have understood how to use this power supply it is quite useful you can use it uh, for your r and d testing debugging and because of its pc interface you can even use it for building test automation solution i hope you found this video useful if you want to learn more about embedded system design please visit my blog pallavagarwal.in Thank you very much and I will see you in my next video.